Happy New Year, everyone. I'm Kara with Scary Halloween. We've got some exciting things planned for 2023, but I'd also like to hear from you guys. Drop in the comments any ideas that you'd like to see us make together this year. Today, we're gonna to go over wiring for a speed controller. We're gonna do one with a wiper motor, but this can be used for any motorized prop. I ended up throwing a speed controller on the animated skeleton that we made in 2022 because, well, Adding a speed controller made a really cool, creepy effect. If you're new to my channel, subscribe for more Halloween DIY videos. So this is all we're gonna need for this simple project. Screwdriver, wire cutters, and this is a speed controller I got on Amazon for about 16 bucks. I'll link it in the bio and the comments. So this is how I currently have my wiper motor wired. Um, I have a tutorial on this as well, which I'll link in the video, and I will link this power source in the bio as well. It comes with the female adapter. So now we're going to wire the speed controller. I don't have any extra wires laying around, and I didn't want to have to figure out which gauge wire to use. So I went ahead, as you can see here, this wiper motor has five wires, and because we are bougie on a budget, I went ahead and clipped about three inches from two wires that are unused. These are both the park on this wiper motor. That's about all you need. So I'm gonna take this off of here now because this was our original wiring. Okay, now we're going to take the ground and the low speed from the wiper motor and directly put it into the M side of the controller. Ground is gonna connect to M negative and the positive is gonna connect to M positive. that we cut off of the excess wiper motor wiring and we're going to connect to the P positive and P negative and since our colors don't really matter at this part because we just took extra off you can do either one for positive and negative. We're going to connect these two loose ends to the female adapter. Now, because we didn't really care which color were positive and negative, the only thing you'll want to make sure you do is match the P positive to the positive on the female adapter and the negative to the negative. All we need to do is plug it in to our power supply and plug it into our wall. Okay, so just make sure that it's flipped on. There's a little toggle switch there. And then you can turn the knob and control the speed. Look at that. Okay, I'm gonna turn it up so you can see the difference. Mm-hmm, yep. And then we're gonna turn it down to more of a creepy death. Something maybe about there. Uh, 
that's much better. Oh, it's so creepy now. And keep in mind, you can use these speed controllers on any of your motored props. <laughs> 